Hello, everyone. Welcome to my English podcast, the podcast on world news, self-development, language learning, and whatever I have learned over the past week. My name is Hoi Mi, but you can call me Jessica. This is the first episode ever of my English podcast, so I'm so excited. Let's get the show on the road. Okay, the first news I want to share with you guys is about Apple launching their iPhone 13 and uh, the likes. Actually, Apple just unveiled iPhone 13s and uh, iPhone 13 mini, iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max version, iPads and Apple Watches on this Tuesday. The new versions actually expand 5G connectivity and show off faster chips and sharper cameras. So do you know what the new chip names is? Actually, it's called the A15 Bionic, which will f- like power the features like automatically detecting when the phone's camera is pointed at text. And uh, the iPhone 13 came in five colors. And the price starts at $699. But you know, before the launching event of iPhone 13, some of the retailers in the Vietnamese mobile retail system announced that the customers who place orders for the iPhone 13 before its launching events will enjoy better incentives. It is expected that it is difficult for iPhone 13 to achieve the record sales like its predecessors like iPhone 12 or iPhone 11 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And you know, in the iPhone 13 launch event taking place in the US, three largest Vietnamese mobile carriers were named uh, in the list of you know 5G networks, and they are Viettel, Vinophone, Mobile Phone, which iPhone 13 supports. These carriers have successfully tested 5G networks in big cities, and it is expected to be officially licensed in 2022. For now, Vietnam is among the first countries in the Southeast Asia. Uh, testing you know 5G networks currently 5G is available in Singapore Vietnam Thailand Indonesia and the Philippines up next is news about COVID-19 pandemic situation in Vietnam 15 people were caught trying to escape the local lockdown restrictions which banned domestic travel when they just hide in the back of a refrigerated truck and it was actually pulled over when traveling through a checkpoint and uh, they actually showed symptoms of breath shortness at the time you know recently in Vietnam Vietnam's government has imposed you know strict lockdown restrictions Uh, as the nation actually battles the fourth wave of the COVID-19 pandemic here and a bunch of makeshift field hospitals have been also constructed to care for those infected. A little bit update of the COVID-19 situation in my city, Hue City. Everything I think is still under control because you know the number of the new COVID-19 cases just has been decreasing over the past few days yeah what has really concerned me recently is also the weather you know in recent years as we've seen you know a bunch of natural disasters just happening including the wildfire in you know California in the US I mean to the tropical storm in Vietnam and also just you know this week a hurricane named uh, Nicholas were just downgraded to a tropical storm 
with heavy rain, power outages, and the threat of fresh floods, and hit the coastal city of Texas. And at the time, you know, a bunch of flash floods warnings and storm surge warnings were issued to warn people against driving through the flood waters or high water or past a street barricade because they were there for protection. And Nicholas was the eighth storm to make landfall on the United States so far this year. And the last news I want to share with you today is about space. So SpaceX company actually founded by a billionaire Elon Musk just made history with their first all civilian space flight on this uh, Wednesday. And you know the four person crew spent three days in orbit around the Earth before we enter in the atmosphere and splashing down in the Atlantic Ocean. This is not the first time, you know, private passengers have paid to fly in uh, the space. But the so-called Inspiration4 mission is the first expedition into orbit without any professional astronauts on board. So you can say it is a key milestone for SpaceX and also, you know, a boon for the burgeoning space tourism industry. The historic flight actually represents the next stage in the evolution of human space flight as access to the cosmos expands beyond just governments and their space agencies. Yeah. Thank you for still sticking around until now. I still have one bonus lesson for you guys before ending the video. This is what I just learned from Eileen, the owner of Lavender YouTube channel. I might link her YouTube channel in the description box below so that you can check it out later. But um, this lesson is what I just learned yesterday. It talks about how to become the main character in your life because Eileen actually made a comparison between your life, our lives, and a movie. So, you know, in everyone's life, we are the main character as if we are in the movie of our life. A lot of us are actually afraid of judgments by other people, right? But in reality, no one cares. They don't even have time to think about you at all. So what you need to do is just be more confident about yourself. We can be more confident from inside out. You know, you can work on your like personal development, like, you know, doing exercise, reading self-help books or listening to audio books. Try wearing whatever you want to wear. You know, we can play an experiment with different styles because, you know, you're not just one dimensional, but you're multifaceted. It's the new word I learned from Eileen. Yeah. Or, you know, find beauty in little things like uh, when doing like housework, like cooking, you can also listen to audiobooks or listening to music. Yeah. It's one way to actually cheer up ourselves and um, also I think that it's beneficial to use the music to set our mood, right? Yeah, so in general, in a nutshell, just try to become the main character of your life by being more confident, by trying new different styles. Yeah. Okay, so that is the end of my first English podcast today. And if you guys have any questions or comments or even ideas, please comment down in the comment box below. And thank you for still like, you know, sticking to the end of the video. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do it now. And uh, don't forget to also, you know, turn on the little bell next to the subscribe button so that you can get notification whenever my video just pop up. Okay, thank you for the privilege of your time. Please take care of yourself and each other. Okay, goodbye for now and see you next Sunday.